not about how good you look. God don't choose you like that. He choose you according to your heart. Verse 5 says, verse 5 says, talks about the joy of being adopted by God. When you are adopted, someone has to make it legal. <laughs> All right. Watch this now. Watch this now. I'm just about to finish. You have to get this piece and I go. Watch this. The law says if you adopt someone, that person shares and everything that you have. That's the law. God has adopted us. That means everything the Father has, whether it be the cattle on a thousand hill or his mansion in glory, belongs to you and me. Did not he say no good thing? But I behold from them that live according to his purpose. The thing about adoption, you know, uh, your status changed overnight. Huh? Oh, good God for that. Boy, listen, y'all missing this thing. This thing is good. The thing about adoption, your status changed overnight. If I'm living in the worst part of Nassau, maybe the government rental apartments, and uh, I'm adopted by someone out of my life will keep behind the gate. The moment they adopt me, my status changes. Good God from Zion. Good God from Zion. So if I am a sinner on my way to hell, no Jesus in my life, ah, too messy to live and afraid to die, and Jesus adopts me right away, my status changes. Away. Your status change. You don't have to go and do this and do that. When he adopts you, your status change right away. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Verse 8 tells us. Verse 8 tells us that God has given us the joy of wisdom. The New International Version of the Bible states that not only have we been granted wisdom, but that God lavishes us upon us. In other words, when God saves you and the joy of the Lord becomes your strength, he does not give you wisdom to live day by day. But the Bible says he lavishes it on you. Hallelujah. That means you know how to discern. You know how to see things coming that's not right. You know how to deal with situations. And God will always keep you in a position that you will see the devil coming. The problem with most of us is that we can't see the devil coming. Everything look good to us. Every plan the devil sent look good to us. Remember now, the devil guides himself in the spirit of light. So therefore he makes his plan look as if they're God sent. But if you don't have the wisdom of God, you do not discern that it's the devil's plan and not God's plan and you're going in hook, line, and sinker. Then after you get into it. You say, boy, this thing really ain't of, ain't of God. Isn't it good to know that nothing is held back in God's giving? The psalmist grasps just to declare, all my help. Hallelujah. All. No, no, not some. All of my help comes from the Lord. I will lift up mine eye to the hills from whence cometh my help. When you are in Christ, he will know it is he who brought us this far. 
we claim nothing of ourselves. His everlasting joy causes us to rest in the knowledge of his will. Our help comes from him. Our help comes from him. So as I close today, when you go out of here today, and the vicissitudes of life began to bear down on you, and you began to feel the walls of life closing in on your finances, closing in on your health, all you have to do is get down to the knees and let the joy of the Lord come forth. That's all. That's all. Finally, verse 13 and 14 tells us that our joy is being sealed. Hallelujah. It's right there in the book. Our joy is in being sealed. God sealed it with his Holy Spirit. This means he guarantees it.